I might have just found the best tech in ABC, and I think it's actually going to push this deck above and beyond its limits. That's how powerful this tech can be. It's something that I haven't seen done before, but I think it can actually legitimately break this deck. Of course, in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys an ABC deck profile, but I'm also going to be showing you guys a combo showcasing how powerful this tech card really is. So with that being said, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Let's get right into the video. So you guys might be wondering, what is Rake Phobia and Revolution Synchron doing in my hand together? And how does this all relate to ABC? I'm going to show you guys why Rake Phobia is actually a crazy card that actually helps you combo an ABC and removes a lot of the bricky hands that you see with this deck. What we're going to do here is I'm actually going to be showing you guys this quick two card combo. Now there's different variations of how this combo can go, but I'm going to show you guys a quick two card combo here and then we're going to be getting into the deck profile. So stay tuned because you guys are going to get the full deck profile. Profile. But right now, I'm just gonna be showing you guys this quick two card combo. You're gonna activate the Rake Phobia, of course, and you're gonna do some Scareclaw stuff first, okay? Scareclaw Rake Phobia or Rake Heart, I should say. We're gonna normal summon our Rake Heart, activate its effect to search arrival. Now, this is really powerful because it searches a monster reborn, which is important because this is like an extender for the deck, right? Which is really nice. And then you can go straight into Ancient Fairy Dragon here, okay? And then we can use the Ancient Fairy Dragon effect. Now, this is why it's really important because you get that extra field spell, which is really, really powerful because this deck essentially is field spell or bust. And having access to that extra field spell of course is really powerful in this deck because it makes the hand so much more consistent but of course here we're going to go union hanger we're going to activate the union hanger effect to search a b to our hand we are going to be able to activate the ancient fairy dragon to special summon the b buster drake from our hand to our side of the field activate the union hanger of course effect so we can actually equip our union driver then we can activate our union driver here to equip an a you can also equip c here it doesn't really matter you guys can equip a it's, it's not that much of a difference but what we want to do is actually here we're going to use our rev synchron before we go any further summon our rev synchron we milled an a here which is absolutely insane by the way but forget what we milled because that's not important for the combo of course you can mill any card the combo is still going to go through we're actually going to make crystal wing right away here just to provide us with some negation right over here you know we have the crystal wing which is really powerful now what we can do is we can summon our a assault core and then uh, what we can actually do even further yeah let's just start off with this because we have our arrival right so what we can do right now is we're actually gonna go straight into platinum gadget with these two right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to activate our B we're also in this case gonna be able to activate a technically because we milled an a but we're just gonna pretend we didn't mill the a right so we're only gonna be activating B here at this point and we're actually gonna be searching a C now of course we have platinum gadget so we can actually use the platinum gadget effect to special summon the C from our hand. Then what we can do is we can activate our Scarecrow Arrival, summon our Rykart to our side of the field. Now at this point, you can just link these two off for IP Mascarena. Then you can make an SP or an Apple using the Platinum Gadget and the IP on your opponent's turn. And you also have ABC in your graveyard, which means you guys are also gonna have access to ABC Dragon Buster. But I wanna push this combo just a little bit further. What we're gonna do here instead of making our IP is we're gonna make Merry Maker, okay? Then we are going to slap on a Sargass right on top of the Merrymaker over here. And then we're going to use a Sargass effect to actually search a, uh, we could search one or the other. I kind of want to keep Uni Hanger, so we are actually just going to search a Regulus right away. We're going to activate the Regulus effect, targeting our B, of course, so that we can equip our B and also summon a Regulus. And what this is actually going to let you do is it's actually going to let you summon the B. You can now use the B and the Sargass because you don't need them anymore to go into IP. And then what you're going to have here is a Regulus negate. You're also going to have a Crystal Wing negate. You're also going to be able to search another card off of B, which is really nice. Keep in mind, you still have three cards in your hand because this was just a two card combo. But B being able to search means that you're going to have that extra card that you can now pitch with your ABC Buster Dragon or Dragon Buster, right? So here you go. We're going to banish our A, banish our B, and banish our C. It doesn't even matter that we milled that second A. And you guys are going to see this end board we have a platinum gadget with an ip mascarena we have a regulus negate we have a dragon buster as a disruption and we have a crystal wing monster negate all because rake phobia is a card which is absolutely insane i want to show you guys what this deck looks like so let's get right into the deck profile and so here it is. This is the ABC Scareclaw deck profile that I was just showcasing to you guys. And I want to tell you guys why this deck is so powerful. Now, ABC, we all know is really powerful, but it is really reliant on drawing or getting to a field spell. Keep in mind, Ancient Fairy Dragon needs a field spell for it to blow it up and then, you know, search another field spell, right? So you need a field spell to start with. And if you don't have access to a field spell, then your hands can kind of be bricky and you don't really have a lot of combos or a lot of places to go, right? So with this deck, what I really aim 
aiming to do is I really wanted to maximize the efficiency and the ways to get to a field spell and also have an extender of course in your right heart with your arrival having that extender now gives you extra link plays helps you break boards because you can go into cards like SP on your opponent's turn and it becomes really really powerful right so that's why I really like this engine so I'm going to show you guys the deck profile real quick we're playing two ASL caller three B Buster Drake and two C Crush Wyvern these are kind of like the bricks in your deck you actually don't really want to draw them the only reason you're playing three B is because B is the best one so two three and two in my opinion is the perfect ratios I'm also on two Union Driver now you can actually play one Union Driver uh, but I'm playing two because I don't want to draw the one of it, it really does suck when you draw the one of if you do draw the one of then you have to open cards like unauthorized reactivation which by the way you guys can see we're not actually playing unauthorized reactivation and the reason for that is because unauthorized reactivation while it does have a lot of applications uh, like niche applications I should say its main application is when you draw a driver you can equip driver from hand we don't want that to happen. That's why we're playing two driver. That's why we're also playing 42 cards so that there is less chance of us seeing the bricks. So that's why I'm not playing unauthorized reactivation, but we're still playing three union hanger. Of course, you need to be playing this card. One ray card as well as three rake phobia and one scarecrow arrival. Even drawing scarecrow arrival is not a brick. Like, I mean, it does suck, but uh, you're not using the, you're only using the ray card to search it. But if you already ever have it in your hand, you're still going to be wanting to combo like this because it's still going to set up the same combo, right? So one ray card, three rake phobia as well as one arrival then we're playing one regulus and one coliseum this is all you need in this build you don't need to be playing two and two or three and one whatever you guys want to play i think the this rake phobia combos and the scare claw combos are really important so just playing one on one you guys can see we can always search it with the sargas you can search it with your ancient fairy dragon if you need if you open the other field spells and you can search the, this coliseum there's always going to be a way to get to these cards essentially right and then of course we're playing one terraforming and then one set rotation as well set rotation of course is really powerful you can give your opponent a rake phobia as long as you're not playing against Manadium, you can give your opponent a rake phobia get yourself a uni hanger and you're good to go right so that's why we're playing the one set rotation we're also playing two tuning as well as three revolution synchron the reason i'm opting for two tuning and three rev synchron rather than three tuning and two rev synchron you guys can do that as well but the reason i like three rev synchron is because rev synchron plus uh rake phobia is combo rev synchron plus uni hangers combo. I just like opening the rev Syngron more than I like opening the tuning. The thing is when you open something like tuning, you can mill something sometimes that you not, might not want to mill. Uh, also, you can get hit with draw and Lockbird. This deck also does lose pretty hard to draw and Lockbird. It's one of the main cards it loses to. Um, and I would say when you're siding, you can probably side cards like cross out uh, just so you don't lose to draw and Lockbird. It's not really in people's main decks right now. So that's kind of the safe part about it, right? So I still like two tuning and three rev Syngron, of course. We're playing three prosperity, of course, for consistency. Three forbidden droplet. Now, this deck is one of the very few decks that can make use of Droplet like crazy. Sending your pieces to the graveyard is never going to be a bad thing because you're always going to be sending them to get to your ABC Dragon Buster anyways. So you can break boards. You can actually set this once you make a board because then you can use it later on, of course, because you can Dragon Buster, tag out, summon your three pieces back, and then you can actually Droplets, send the pieces to the graveyard, boom the gate monsters your opponent controls really really powerful then we're playing the one called by the grave and we're playing three ash three dd crow and three triple tactics talent i just think these are the best hand traps slash board breakers you guys can be playing right now i know droplets also is kind of one of those cards that i think this deck just abuses really well you don't technically have to be playing droplets you guys can be playing uh, more hand traps here you guys can technically be playing cross out here and then maybe a drool and lockbird in the main deck so you don't lose to drool maybe a nibiru in the main deck so you don't lose to nib but uh i really like the forbidden drop of being able to go second break boards is really really powerful so that's it for the main deck it's 42 cards in the main deck then for the extra deck here we're playing two abc dragon buster one ancient fairy dragon one crystal wing one baron of course we're playing one ip one sp now keep in mind if you guys don't have access to sp i know this card's really expensive you guys can play unicorn here as well you don't have to be playing sp you guys can definitely play unicorn unicorn is just as powerful like i showed you guys earlier in the combo you guys are always going to be searching an extra card you're going to be ending on four cards in hand which means you're always going to have cards for unicorn to discard anyways right so if you don't have sp little night you can play unicorn it's perfectly fine one platinum gadget one access code talker apple and underworld goddess these are all pretty standard in abc the reason for that is you're always going to have so many cards on your side of the field with the pieces so being able to make access code apple is really easily and then underworld goddess as well because if you end on like ip just on a simple board of ip plus abc dragon buster you tag out with your dragon buster you have three pieces plus your ip that's four you can use a card on your opponent's field five boom underworld goddess right it's really powerful when your opponent makes like towers like monsters so that's why underworld goddess is really powerful one dweller of course really powerful this format one baguska and then i'm opting to play the merrymaker and the sargas to search our regulus so 
I would say nothing in here is a very, you know, different or unique. It's pretty standard, I would say. I hate using the word standard because if you guys haven't played ABC before, you guys might not know what standard is. But when I say standard, it means that you're really just playing the best cards that ABC can play. There's a lot of tech cards that deck can play. You can play Tornado Dragon, you can play Nightmare Unicorn, Phoenix, etc., etc. Because a lot of this is just toolbox, but these are just the best toolbox cards for you guys to be playing, right? Now you guys might be wondering, why do I have the adventure package here in the side deck? So I want to show you guys that you can play this deck the hand trap version with the ttt like i'm playing here but you notice how there's nine cards here right the three ash the three crow and the three tactics well what else is a nine card engine your adventure engine so you guys can definitely play the adventure engine instead of the hand traps or maybe instead of the droplets you guys can cut three droplets three tactics and then maybe three hand traps maybe dd crow maybe ash whatever you guys want to cut you guys can cut nine cards and then play these nine instead i chose to play the hand traps because i feel like going second the hand traps and the triple tactics talents are just a little bit stronger but uh if you guys don't have access to these you guys can definitely play these as well i know with the rarity collection this should be a little bit easier to get hopefully but uh, it's really up to you i wanted to give you guys that option you guys can play these as well another thing you guys can play like i said earlier is a cross out with the drone lock bird so you don't lose to that but uh, again i think that's something you would side and that's not something you necessarily mean just because i feel like not a lot of people are main decking droll and that's kind of like the main card you lose to so maybe side deck that but other than that guys you guys can see the synergy and how this deck works it's so powerful giving you access to a field spell which is the most important thing because if you do not see a field spell in this deck i was testing with this deck for a while right and i wasn't playing the scarce cloth stuff this is actually a really good idea that my friend alpha brought forward to me because he was saying well one of your biggest weaknesses if you don't see a field spell you don't have access to a field spell you don't really do anything and that's really true because even rev synchron alone even with any of the pieces if it's just rev synchron in a piece and you don't have a field spell it doesn't really do anything for you like it really just doesn't do much for you so that's why i actually decided to go with this package my friend alpha gave me this idea so i want to give a big shout out to alpha because i think it makes so much sense and it just gives you that consistency boost that this deck really needed so that's it i know you guys are going to be very skeptical of this but i feel like you guys have to try it just give it a shot and you guys are going to see how powerful it really can be so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys can kind of see where I'm getting at with this Scareclaw tech. I think the Scareclaw engine just makes so much sense in this deck. The fact that you can get a starter, the fact that you can get an extender, the fact that you're always going to see a field spell, which is exactly what this deck needs. Because as soon as it can see any field spell, you can get a lot of your combo started, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. We upload seven days a week here on the channel. You guys are gonna get five Five shorts a week and two long videos a week showcasing these combos these deck profiles and so much more so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace